I'm Adam. And I'm Duke. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Hey, Duke. You know, Adam, back in my day, a cowboy's hat was like a third arm. I reckon I lost my third arm at least a hundred times. Well, Duke, at least you don't have to worry about losing pencils. My students somehow managed to hide them in places I never thought possible. Pencils, huh? That's what you teach with these days? I remember teaching my horse to count using nothing but a lasso and sheer determination. Lasso? Impressive. I taught a kid to tie his shoes last week. Felt like a monumental achievement. Speaking of shoes, have you seen my hat? No, but I did find a tiny cowboy hat in the lost and found at school. Could be a student of yours. If it's got a bullet hole and a coffee stain, it's mine. Why would a hat have a bullet hole? Long story involving a game of poker and a very disgruntled squirrel. Remind me to never play cards with you. Just don't bet your hat, Adam. You never know what you might lose in it to a squirrel. In today's book, Little Bear's dad is simply the best. He wakes up his cub with a tickle on the nose and a kiss. Then the two spend a wonderful day together exploring, splashing through rain, and swimming in the river. At the end of the day, they snuggle together under the stars. Let's get started. Me and My Dad by Allison Ritchie Illustrated by Allison Edson My dad wakes me up every morning like this. He tickles my nose and gives me a kiss. We go out exploring. There's so much to see. My dad knows where all the best secrets will be. My dad is a giant, up here so am I, if I stretched really high till I touch the sky. We find sticky honey, our favorite snack. Watch my dad run when the bees want it back. My dad twirls me round and the world whizzes past. My head gets all dizzy, I'm spinning so fast. If loud thunder roars and the sky is turning gray, my dad keeps me safe till the storm goes away. Duke, do you have any fond memories with your dad? Well, my dad was a cowboy too. He taught me how to lasso a steer when I was just a little fella. But funny thing is, he was always losing his hat. We'd spend more time looking for his hat than actually riding. Sounds like you inherited that trait. How many hats have you lost this month? Only three, but who's counting? Anyway, my dad would say, son, if you can't find your hat, you ain't fit to find a horse. So I'd end up searching for both. That's hilarious. My dad would just remind me to tie my shoes. One year I tripped over them in front of the whole class and they called me Mr. Tumble all year long. Well, at least your dad didn't tell you to saddle up a horse barefoot. I tried it once and let's say it just didn't end well. I guess both of our dads had their own ways of teaching us important lessons. Yep, like always keep your hat on your head and your shoes tied tight. And if you lose your hat, make sure your son is around to help you find it. Exactly. When it's raining, my dad plays this staying dry trick. To dodge all the raindrops, we have to be quick. We race to the river and dad jumps straight in. I climb on his back and we go for a swim. My dad is so strong, he can lift anything. I hope I'm strong too, when I'm grown up like him. When I get sleepy, dad gives me a hug and carries me home all cozy and snug. My dad tells me stories as day turns to night. We cuddle up close in the warm twinkling light. My dad is the best daddy bear there could be. We're together forever, my dad and me. Well, Adam, I tell you, being a granddad is tougher than wrangling a herd of wild stallions. Really? Try getting 20 second graders to sit still during a story time. It's like herding cats. Tiny, hyperactive cats. The other day I spent an hour looking for my hat. Turned out my little grand rascal was using it as a bed for her dolls. Well, that's nothing. My daughter once convinced me to have a tea party with her stuffed animals. I was the only one that had to actually drink tea. And it was lukewarm and imaginary. I reckon we're both in over our heads sometimes, partner. Yesterday I found my grandson trying to ride the dog like a horse. The dog was not amused. I feel your pain. One time I caught my son drawing on the walls and when I asked why... He said, I'm making art, just like you taught me. Guess I should have specified the canvas. So what's the secret to surviving this dad life? Embrace the chaos and always keep a stash of cookies. Works like a charm. Yeehaw to that! 
If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. I'm Adam, and I'm Duke, and this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Did you know? Fathers may break bad habits like smoking, drinking too much, and eating junk food for the sake of the kids. They also tend to drive more safely.